So guys, so many of you comment on our connection and just how in love we look, but believe it or not, not too long ago, we found ourselves kind of at a wall with our connection. Nothing was really wrong, but we just knew there was more and there was deeper for us to go, but we couldn't figure out how to get there until we figured out the importance of our emotions. And we have so much that we've been learning that completely changed the game. And though learning about our emotions was a game changer, it was stinking painful. It was awkward, for me at least sometimes, it was so shameful because all of our lives, especially I think men, we were taught to, you know, suppress our emotions and even people some, sometimes say, control your emotions, which is basically the same as stuffing them down and suppressing them. And then what happens, you're unable to communicate them, you're unable to feel them, you literally became, you become emotionally handicapped people, person, <laughs> person. But What's interesting, emotions are supposed to bring us together and bring us connection. But if we don't communicate them and don't recognize them, then they become something that, uh, something that disconnects us and brings us farther, further apart. Not only does that bring us further apart, but there's actually crazy implications when we keep our emotions bottled up. The more that we do that, our body actually stores that information and sometimes we see it coming out in different ways, whether it's like chronic headaches or actually even diseases just by the way that we're harboring our emotions, which is absolutely crazy. Coffee time. Sweetie. You ready? I'm so Let's ready. <sighs> so, we want to tell you something like our biggest discovery yet, maybe, and it's called connection codes. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure that it was the Holy Spirit. Uh, I think four or five years ago, I found out about them, and I put a like a memory, I put it put it in my memory, and I stored it in my memory and said, okay, one day when I find my person, I want to I want to do the connection codes with them. And what is connection codes? They're an amazing people who they have a book. They're it's a couple. Called, couple. Mm -hmm. uh, they have an amazing book called Connection Codes. They have mm -hmm. a podcast. They have a masterclass. Basically, everything they teach. Uh, they teach how to recognize and communicate your emotions and how basically everything we said mm -hmm. we learn from from them mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is not sponsored guys. Okay, <clears throat> not sponsored. this is not sponsored <laughs> But we've just learned so much just from going through their things that mm -hmm. we're just like people need to know about this and as their name implies, like the whole goal is to form connection. Yeah, it's not just with someone that you're dating or you're married to, it could be a friend, a coworker, a mom, dad, literally any single person on the planet, we are here and that's why God put us on this planet is to be brothers and sisters in Christ, yeah. right? So it's about connection. And they have this one thing called the core emotion wheel that we've been implementing. And it's completely changed the game for us because yeah. it forces you to identify the eight core emotions that we all have as humans. Yeah. And it's crazy because God gave us these emotions. <clears throat> so even like Dr. Glenn and Phyllis, they didn't like make this up. Like this is how God made us. God gave us these emotions. And when we can identify them and communicate them, that's what brings the connection. Yeah. So as we go through the wheel, we pretty much just go through what those eight emotions are. Yeah. It should not take more than four minutes total. Yeah. So that's two minutes for me and two minutes for Mate. And we just go through, and this is not pointing fingers. We're not like, oh, I was so angry yeah. when you said this to me and da, da 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 Like, we're just saying when we actually experienced these emotions throughout the day. Yeah. And the other person who's <clears throat> listening is here just to verbally, like, affirm us so that yeah. we feel seen and heard. And they're just saying things like, oh, wow, okay, wow, things like yeah. that, right? Yeah, so Does that good. Make sense? And <clears throat> one thing I would like to point out, like, you... 
if you if you are like with us for some time, you know, we go to the gym almost five mm -hmm. times a week, six times a week. We're both the ministry students. Yeah. So we there's a lot of emphasis on the body, mm -hmm. on the spirit, yeah. but what about our soul and our emotions? So good. And what I can tell like everyone, I literally a couple of times when we were doing this this um emotion wheel and as I was expressing what's happening in here and recognizing it and as I was saying it to Kayla mm -hmm. I literally felt my body like going oh. right, right. it was like releasing something from from your body that was so uh, so healthy mm -hmm. and again it brought so much connection between so us much. then because I felt seen heard mm -hmm. known Kayla was there mm -hmm. she didn't like close she didn't run away right, she right. didn't point fingers and it was it was it's it's an amazing it's, it's a game changer so yeah i love what you said about like wholeness <clears throat> because why would god give us emotions if our emotions were just like something that we should like cast aside right yeah. like so there's an invitation there for us to not only again bring each other into it yeah. but i think the key is um when you're going through the wheel if you notice a pattern with an emotion or like a certain trigger like that's an invitation for you to bring that to the lord and get further like inner healing from the Lord in that yeah. area so he can mend that area of your heart. So it's another great thing yeah. too. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to get into the wheel? Let's do okay. who's, who's going first? I don't know. I need to pull it up because I still don't have the eight emotions memorized yet. <laughs> so yeah. we have it here. Same here. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, babe. So I experienced <clears throat> anger because I'm not feeling well this mm. week. If you guys can't here in our voices and just anger that like I had mm. plans for this week yeah. that couldn't happen so yeah. I was just kind of like angry like what the heck yeah I felt a lot of shame about all of the things that I have on my to-do list that I mm. feel like day after day I'm mm. not doing there's like emails I need to respond mm -hmm. to things I need to do and it's just like yeah. day after day I'm not doing it so I feel shame yeah. about that um I felt guilt because I haven't been feeling well, mm -hmm. I feel like I haven't been like as like loving and attentive to you as I want oh. to be. Because I just feel like I was so out of it this week. So I felt guilt over that. Um, fear, <laughs> a lot of fear about yeah. these next couple of months and all of the changes that are coming. Yeah. Um, not just getting married, but ending certain mm -hmm. chapters and seasons in our life. And mm -hmm. just all the stuff is making me fearful mm -hmm. about change. Lonely, I've told you this before, just lonely in the wedding planning yeah. like part. I have you, of course, which I appreciate, but I just expected there to be more mm -hmm. like people around me like mm. celebrating this season as yeah. we're wedding planning. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, I felt sadness, again, thinking about these seasons changing and like certain chapters coming to an end. Yeah. So I've had a lot of sadness about that. Mm -hmm. uh, hurt, I couldn't figure out like within today or yesterday where I felt hurt, but the last time I felt hurt was our lid incident. Maybe yeah. we'll tell you guys about our lid incident. We'll, let, we'll call it the lid incident, yep. <clears throat> I felt hurt there. Mm -hmm. And joy, honestly, just so much joy every yeah. single day, even though this week was not what I expected, but we had so much joy just like growing closer mm -hmm. and doing new things like going on walks yeah. together. Yeah. I felt a lot of joy. Good Thank job, baby. Really. Thanks, Ooh. baby. Mm -hmm. Your turn. My turn. Okay. Um, yeah, anger. Lately, I didn't. I didn't experience any anger except with the the lid incident when I felt like disrespected. Mm -hmm. So uh, shame. Um, I actually the other day I felt shame when you were talking something with your parents and I could not understand mm. what are you talking about and then I felt like kind of shame not mm. like understanding the culture and what are you talking about mm. uh, guilt I felt guilt yesterday um, with kind of like we've been home the whole day and your parents are here and like they're doing everything mm -hmm. and then I felt like you love shoot like I, mm -hmm. I don't feel like I'm helping them mm -hmm. in any way so mm -hmm. I felt guilt there mm -hmm. uh, fear um, probably our peeps know that like fear about like finances also like the future like what's mm -hmm. gonna it's gonna come so mm -hmm. there's there's some fear there um, lonely when you were definitely when you were in Missouri mm -hmm. I felt so so much lonely 
Yeah, because yeah, I just missed you so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, sad. <clears throat> um, I felt sadness like lately with not communicating very often to to my friends mm-hmm. in in Croatia. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just would like to have more of that, but right, I right. just not possible. Um, hurt. Uh, I felt hurt the other day. Told you about that one with like I sent this really nice text to one of my friends. Mm-hmm. Um, added in like it was zero response, mm-hmm. so felt a uh, yeah. hurt there. And joy, literally every day when I'm with mm-hmm. you, there's so much joy I can't even point to one moment, but there's like overflowing of joy. I love that. Really. Yeah, when we're together. Mm-hmm. Proud of you. Yeah, guys, that's the wheel. <clears throat> it might seem insignificant mm. watching it. But there's something so special, again, when we're letting each other in yeah. and I'm able to just like see into his heart and there might be things that I had no idea that he was affected yeah. by, but when he expresses it to me, it just shows me a little bit more of who he is and then now yeah. I can like, I can love him better, I can honor him better yeah. and again, like we said, when there's other things that keep coming up, like that's yeah. an invitation to go to the Lord and be yeah, like, okay, to the inner healing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right? that's so true. That's right? so true. And I think again, what I want to point out, just the this this feeling of releasing right, the emotions right. and f- being free in front of like Kayla mm-hmm. to share my heart. So good. Just, yeah. So proud, baby. So thank you, baby. We've come a long way. Yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. We did. Yeah, guys. So we really want to share this because again, we've grown up our entire lives, thirty-three years of age, and have never heard. Uh, really this teaching on emotions. Why is no one talking about this? We've been getting taught things at school about it as well and we just feel like this is super huge. So if you found this interesting or if you have more questions, like drop us some comments below. We can definitely do more videos like this because this again was the thing that completely like tore down that wall that we were feeling Mm -hmm. a couple months ago and it just allowed us to be super connected and we love that. We love it. We love that. (laughs) <laughs> All right, um, and I love you. We and I love you so much. <laughs> we and we love you guys. We love you. We're praying for you and we bless you. Love you guys. Bye.